Lo and behold, the E46 Touring is back. I would love a set of these on, mate. Brand new products in there. These cars are definitely a wolf in sheep's clothing when tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the NVM channel. Hope you guys enjoy this one. So the first car to introduce today is this individual purple G80 M3 xDrive. This is a 2023 model straight from the dealer, straight to us to take the ECU out, to send to the guys at Femto to unlock when it comes back, it will have a full Scorpion exhaust system, NVM shielded downpipe, ram air intakes, and our custom stage two ECU and gearbox tuning, which we target roughly between 680 and 700 brake horsepower on 99 run fuel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more content on this. Who doesn't love a Wang? Look at this beautiful carbon fiber and performance spoiler on this G80. It's finished in this individual purple. I absolutely love it. Obviously, it reminds me of an X vehicle we had. Cue the sad music. But this is going to be an absolute beast. Stage two for now, but obviously stage three hybrid turbos and all of that. Given its X drive, we can send it whatever the weather. So you probably recognize this M135i from the last episode. This is the N55 PWG pneumatic wastegated vehicle that we fitted a pure 500 super core turbocharger onto. We fitted it with the NVM turbo inlet pipe as well to allow all that air to get to the turbocharger, but the owner is staying on stock fuel system for now. So we're gonna tune it today and see where our limitations are. Project car update or what? This ain't really a project car. This is the donor vehicle for the E46. But leave a comment below as to what you guys think or what engine you guys think we should put in this M140i. I've got an incline to put a naturally aspirated engine in there. You've got an incline to put a Jap engine in there. The comments below will define as to what we stick in this when we rebuild this beast. But first off today we have this. Beautiful F31 330D in for a full service on the engine and on the gearbox and stage one ECU and gearbox tuning. Now on these cars, BMW do state it's a lifetime fill on the ZF8, but looking at the oil, it's absolutely black. It's so important that you keep on top of these things because they can cause premature wear on the clutches within the actual gearbox itself. But yeah, once the service is carried out, we'll strap out the dyno and start tuning. This is why we love our dyno because we can replicate exactly what manufacturers produce. So this ran 255 air horsepower, 555 newton meters of torque, which is exactly what the book claims. And obviously when it comes to tuning, the first thing we've got to do is release the torque limiter on the gearbox. These have a gearbox limiter in third and fifth gear. They are the weakest gear at the stock calibration, but as soon as we increase the line pressure and the actual adaptations for the clutch discs themselves, we can increase that torque limiter, um, hence why we always advise gearbox mapping on these, as well as intercooler upgrades. This car is going to stay in its stock intercooler, and we're going to be limited to probably about 330-ish brake horsepower. So, let's see what we can do. So that's good to see, 311 brake horsepower, 658 newton meters of torque so far. That torque number is very important though, because within the ECU, there is actually a single value torque limiter that most tuners can't find, and that's at 657 newton meters. So we'll just raise that to 700 newton meters and allow that turbocharger to kind of freely get up to the injection and torque quantity required. Yeah. 
So there we have it, final results for this 328 brake horsepower, 687 newton meters of torque. What gains are those? 75 years later. Quick maths. 73 brake horsepower and 137 newton meters of torque. Absolute savage. These cars are definitely a wolf in sheep's clothing when tuned. Lo and behold, the E46 Touring is back on the ramp. Today we're making a few adjustments to the wiring, specifically the neutral gear position sensor. We've just added one to the top of this gearbox. Um, so we'll put it back in, wire that in to the standalone ECU and hopefully when we start it and get it running, we can add rolling anti-lag, launch control and all of that fun stuff. Also, we have a set of genuine BMW Forge aluminium wheels. These are the 513 M's finished in a gloss black with the BMW spinning center cap. These are going to be fitted to the E46 at some point. We're going to figure out how we're going to get the arches to work with it. It's going to be interesting because we will need the wider tire for the power that thing is going to make. I would love a set of these on, mate. G80 19 inch wheels. These are off my old vehicle. Can you play that sad music again? Anyway, BMW changed their stud pattern from the E and the F series to the new G series, which run the same sort of center pattern as that of an Audi VAG car, although the, the actual hub is slightly different. So we can't fit these to the E46, unfortunately. Don't tell me to get onto the next one, mate. I need some lunch first. Look at the time, mate. Another late lunch. If anyone out there has got a prep meal company, give us a shout because yeah, sometimes we're having lunch at four, five o'clock in the afternoon. But the 330D has gone. Customer is well happy. He's going to enjoy his drive home. And we've got a M135 i to tune when we get back. But we need fuel just as cars need fuel. We need fuel and the right fuel to make sure we work efficiently. So I hope everyone enjoys the E46 updates. I know it's little updates, but it's the little time we have in between customers' vehicles um, and our own other project cars, like the M240i, which we have a huge update at the end of this vlog, don't we? So you have to stay for that to see what we have planned for the G42. Everyone's talking about what's the next project. It's crazy, man, like we've got so many projects going. That E46 is a priority, getting that started running and tuned is going to be the focal point over the next couple of weeks. And I think going into next year, we do have some plans, other projects that we want to work on, other platforms that we want to work on, but it's all about time and timing. Getting these projects at the right time, there's no point getting, you know, another rear wheel drive project during winter when it's like two degrees outside and we've got no grip to doing any data logging or development. So yeah, until we have finalized our current projects, there will be no new projects. What's your favorite project? Definitely the E46. Definitely the E46. Everyone says that, isn't it? Can't wait for the E46 to get done. Don't worry, it's a priority. I promise no new cars until that E46 is running. I say that, but there's, uh, <laughs> there's another project that needs a huge update, and that is the BMW Z4 M Coupe. Everyone thought it was done. Everyone thought we completed it. We haven't completed it. It's, uh, it's undergoing a whole new episode coming to the channel soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, mate, let's uh, get back to the unit. Stick that M135i on the dyno. See what it does on the stock fuel pump. I know we're going to be limited, but it's going to be interesting. All part of development, isn't it? Also, we have a brand new product for the Audi RS3 Dazza DNWA. RS3 8V2 and 8Y is the turbo intake pipe, full aluminium in construction, no restrictions from the air filter to the turbocharger itself. Comes with both silicon couplers and yeah, looks absolutely gorgeous. So if you've got an RS3, get one of these. They're on the online shop. I'll leave a link below. This vlog is full of brand new products, mate. Brand new product brand alert. New product brand, alert. New brand new charge pipe, heat treated, aluminium in construction for the B58 Gen 2 vehicle. So this will be going on our G42 M240i and also fits the Supra, 5 Series, 4 Series, all of the good stuff. So yeah, make sure you guys go check it out. I'll leave a link below.
So the owner actually wanted me to run this on the previous tuner's tune, and as you've probably seen from the video there, it's overfueling massively, and it's not even hitting boost target, so not really the best of tune. I don't think I'm gonna run it again, so we'll start from scratch with a full BMW update, run it back to original, and start building up and see what we can achieve. So our kind of base stage three, still keeping it within the 15 to 16 PSI mark, and fueling seems okay for now, but it's just around 397 brake horsepower, 515 newton meters of torque, which is more than what a stock turbo would do anyway on a PWG. So we're in the right region, but let's see how much more it can take without any further fueling. <laughs> You want to pop some bangs? So there we have it. Final result, 442 brake horsepower, 691 newton meters of torque. Absolute savage for what it is. It is a hybrid turbo core on a pneumatic wastegated vehicle. We are at the limit of the stock high pressure fuel pump. Unfortunately, it'd be the same limit with the electronic wastegate. Obviously with meth injection and a bigger fuel pump, we could probably take it more. This is about 75% duty cycle. So it has got more in there, but We'll have to see, we'll have to get it back in one of the days. So I'm actually quite impressed as to the power and the torque curve on this. Hardly any lag and a nice smooth um, boost pressure right to the red line so you can hold that power. But yes, we do need to bring it back in with more fueling. But we've got a special announcement, haven't we? Yep, that's right, the G42 hybrid turbo is now ready to be installed. Codenamed the NVM 700R. This is gonna be an absolute beast. To see more of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't, don't matter if you cast for the road or tracks Mexico on the lanes Or Dunnington doing up laps Car man I got maps Doing up maps Maximum power Cars get gats They got tuners We got tuners But they're tuners But they're tuners And load up Man got the map What kind of map Best boat map That's this lap Zoom in past Don't watch out Big man map Dream maps Take a passenger seat Watch a man collapse Foot to the floor Rev to the max Team come through like axe All you see is flames All you hear is bullets and bats He's doing it well He's doing it right And they can't do it like man Envy Motorsport is in the game. Gang. Yeah.